Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic that what is CISA or Certified Information System Auditor. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in this field and you want to learn about it or you are planning to give exam of uh, CSA, CISA. So friend, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. Friend, the CISA certification is a world-renowned competency benchmark that measures an auditor's skills in evaluating IT systems. Issued by ISHAKA, it recognizes it IT professionals who monitor, manage, and protect information systems for businesses. CISA ensures that a company information systems are well managed and protected from risk. They are responsible for instituting IT controls and addressing vulnerabilities in IT systems. A CISA main responsibilities usually involve designing and implementing audit strategies based on a sound knowledge of risk management, determining whether an organization's IT assets have adequate protections, executing audits with reference to the audited company's business objectives, presenting audit results and offering business solutions based on those results, revisiting past audits to major organizational follow through on recommendations. CISA accredited professionals are also often involved in other aspects of business operations. These can include risk and resource management, disaster recovery, policy reviews and business continuity strategies. The CISA exam previously ran in June, September and December every year. Candidate must score 450 out of a possible 800 or higher to pass you can take the exam up to four times per year, starting with the date of your first attempt. ISAKA currently offers English, Chinese, and many languages as well. Applying to take the exam costs fifty dollar, and if your application is accepted, it will cost a further five ninety five dollar to take the exam, or four ninety five for ISAKA member. The CISA exam is known for its difficulty, with an average pass rate of around fifty percent. It's best best to begin preparation early. Successful candidates general, generally take between six months and a year to revise for the exam. ISAKA offers a number of resources to help prospective CISA prepare for the exam, including a question, answer, and exp explanation databases, a CISA specific preparation community, an online review course, and an ebook of study materials. Of these, the most important resource is the ISAKA review manual, manual which is updated yearly. There are also many courses available from training providers such as good e-learning, CISA training, etc. Once you pass the exam, the next step is to apply for your CISA certificate. ISAKA requires that CISA applications have at least five years of professional experience in IS auditing, control, or security work. You can substitute uh, one year of other IS experience in place of auditing work or one year of uh, conventional auditing experience in place of fifth IS work. CISA holders are required to take part in ISAKA Continuing Professional Education Program. CPE is an ongoing training program that makes sure CISA keep up to date with their industry. CPU, CPE has four main goals, monitoring each CISA IS audited or control and security knowledge, identify CISA who are no longer technically quantified, uh, qualified to enough to keep their certification, helping heads of department construct stable IS auditing teams by making suggestions on training, development, and personal selection, maintaining CISA knowledge and capabilities by disseminating new updates and releases. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.